I have an update to share with you about the story concerning Lauren Boebert and her visit to a school in the Dolores School District in Colorado, uh, her home state, obviously, and the state that she represents. So this uh, visit happened back in March. Uh, it was supposed to not be a political uh, event. Uh, it turned into a political event, at least according to parents uh, that were there. Um, and... Before I get into more of the details uh, about what I have learned since the doing the story yesterday, let's do a correction, just a small correction here, just to be factually accurate. So in my reporting yesterday, I said that there was no notice of time uh, ahead of time or ability to opt out for uh, parents. So I was actually wrong about that. I want to correct the record here, and I'm going to base it on email correspondence I had from one of the parents who had spoken out against Bobert's visit. So this is, again, just being super correct, being on the record. Their email to me uh, contained a copy of an email she'd received from the school. Now get this, uh, while there was notice, they had two days worth of notice. So this uh, email from the school district about Bobert's visit was dated on March 13th, 2023. Uh, the visit was on March 15th. So that means, again, parents had very little notice. They had notice, but very little. Uh, the email also noted that students were given an opportunity not to attend. Um, in fact, uh, the email noted that there will be a supervised classroom available for students to go during that time. Uh, and so I don't know how many people uh, ended up not going to that event. Uh, but anyway, in my conversation with the parent, uh, they noted, and this is where the issue comes into play. Rumors of her, of her visit, of Bobert's impending visit, actually circulated around the town for about a week. And just, just before she showed up, that's when they got the notice. Fascinating. Now, the email itself actually references that from the, the schools to the parent. Um... Quote, we are aware that news of her visit has begun to spread, and we would like to take a few minutes to clarify the nature of her visit and address any concerns that you may have. Well, now, wait a minute. Oh, hold on here. Why did they wait until there were rumors going around of Lauren Boebert showing up in order to inform the parents? That seems a little weird. Seems like you would actually want them to know as soon as you've made the arrangements that she would be able to show up. And now, of course, uh, I'm sure, you know, uh, officials are explaining it away. So, oh, well, you know, it's a, uh, it's, it's, it's a politician and uh, you never know. Uh, his schedule's very busy and everything and it, good, good last minute stuff and, uh, you know, all sorts of like, I would say excuses. Okay. Uh, but that's just me. So now, uh, again, they scheduled this. And again, they've been wanting to schedule her for quite some time before alerting the parents that, hey, we're trying to get Lauren Boebert to come out and, and speak to students. And we'll let you know. We'll give you some updates. We'll give you some details uh, on you know when she is supposed to come and speak. Um, so they've been trying to schedule her for some time. Boebert wasn't actually available until March. Uh, and again, very odd. I think the fact that uh, they waited until there were rumors going around about this visit. It's a little sh sketchy, especially considering how controversial Bobert is. I, I mean, she's a, 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 essentially a lightning rod of controversy stuff this, uh, because of a lot of the things that she has actually said. So more details that I've learned um, that I think are very interesting uh, is the email uh, where it stated that no one is invited save for one reporter. So there actually was a member of the media. So now here's what the email said. This event is solely an opportunity for Dolores secondary students, which is sixth grade through 12th grade, uh, 12th grade, sorry. Uh, it is not open to the public. Parents, family members, friends, and community members who are not students or staff members at Dolores secondary will not be permitted to attend. This is also not a media event. We will likely have a journalist from the Cortez Journal in attendance. 
but there will only be uh, but there will only be an opportunity for students to ask questions, not the media. This is the reason that we have not advertised this event online. Now, uh, I looked into that reporter uh, again based on a tip from one of the parents that I had spoken to, uh, and that reporter is uh, Bailey Duran. Okay, so uh, who's Bailey Duran? I don't know too much about her other than the fact that she is a graduate of Liberty University, the very famous or infamous super right-wing conservative university. Oh, interesting. Uh, now, the, her Facebook profile also says that she's chasing after Jesus and has written uh, for numerous conservative publications like The Federalist, for example, CNS News. Oh, no, look, maybe I'm reading into it just a little bit. Might be nothing. But I just personally feel that it's a little strange that this person who is, seems to be someone who would be pro Bobert would be the only reporter allowed to cover the event and to write about it. That, that's very, very strange. It just, it just seems odd to me. I don't know. Um, I don't know, by the way, if she was requested by the Bobert team. I don't have any information on that. I don't know if she was requested by the school. I don't know if she was requested by the paper itself. I don't know. There's a lot of questions here. I would be very interested in seeing the answers to these questions. Now, another question, by the way, speaking of that, uh, that a lot of uh, the audience, uh, a lot of the responses that I received to this uh, segment that I put out yesterday was, oh my God, was she armed? Uh, Lauren Boebert. Because she is, of course, famous for carrying her gun just about everywhere. Apparently, the school knew enough about her and about her, you know, record. Of, it's, again, they know who she is. They know who she is. That they specifically devoted a section to pointing out that, how that she will not be armed during this visit. Oh, well, thanks God. <laughs> wow. Uh, how great that you're not going to allow an armed, in my opinion, psychopath to be inside the school. Yay. Wonderful. Um, now, that said, she apparently was armed with a lot of disinformation uh, and had spread that doing what is, uh, in, a, in effect, a political speech inside the school, using political topics. Now, according to the email invite uh, and notification to the parents, she was not supposed to engage in any of these political topics, but because it is Lauren Boebert, after all, she probably could not help herself, you know, because. Uh, now, the email said that Congressman Boebert is simply there to share insight on what it's like to serve in Congress, provide an overview of her legislative focus, which is all culture war nonsense, by the way, representing Colorado, including water issues, and then highlight the unprecedented events which started the 118th session of Congress. But it noted that the purpose of this event is not political. Well, maybe you should have told Lauren Boebert that. Uh, and by the way, uh, the school is not private. It is a public school, from what I can tell. But okay, so this is not supposed to be political, and yet she brings up obvious political topics, talking about, for example, moral decay uh, in our society, uh, and how... Specifically, COVID-19 measures were, quote unquote, taking your liberty away. And that's a rough, rough quote. I don't have an exact 100% quote, but uh, I'm paraphrasing here. Taking away your liberty. Now, look, uh, there's a lot more information that I've received that I need to go through uh, and, you know, uh, read through and, and make sure that I get all the, the information and the facts right. Uh, but... Man, what I've seen so far, very, very interesting stuff. I've got a lot more to share within at least a coming week, perhaps more. Um, but it is developing, and I just wanted to share this update to the story, which has gotten a lot of attention. Uh, the Denver Post put out an article earlier this morning had, had, who, uh, that was talking about it, having quotes from some of the parents as well. 
and uh, based on the you know, the attention that this has received on my own uh, channel, it's a very big deal, and uh, people are starting to pay attention. And good, uh, because this is something that uh, one of the parents had expressed to me that they have been trying to get this out into the national spotlight, into the national media uh, for some time, and uh, and and their goal, of course, is to uh, make changes and uh, provide basically a school learning experience that will be beneficial to the students. Uh, after all, that is the entire goal here is for everyone to have uh, a quality education and not be influenced by overtly political topics while they're in school, especially since some of them will be, uh, you know, soon by the time uh, Bobert's next election come, uh, comes around, will be a voting age. Some of the, uh, you know, high school kids that she had talked to. And so, I don't know, in my opinion, it definitely seems like a, an attempt by her to do a, a, a political stump speech in order to influence young voters into turning out for her. Now, I do hope that it backfires hilariously in her face, uh, but we'll have to see. At the same time, though, it should have never been a political speech in the first place.